Okay, next update here. I, uh, it's been a while since we did an update here on the progress of the screen here, and or the theater room, I should say. And I just did a video on the screen here, so uh, this is the ultimate screen that I chose after the uh, I took down all the the samples here. So we'll kill the lights and uh, show off the room here a little bit. So. Pretty legit screen. Um, projector, the new projector should be here in about three weeks. So ultimately, here's where we're at with the screen. I'm at the uh, the door here. So coming around, we have the one finished wall, screen wall, and coming around the room. Still have the bar area to do. We have the component rack finished, the DVD wall here, and then back to the door. We have the uh, bookshelf here with all the movies, component rack here, a couple of movie, movie stuff, some of my paper crafts that I built here. So not too bad. And uh, here's the uh, component rack that we ended up building. Um, completely custom. Um, I'm sort of happy with it, sort of not. Um, it's made out of plywood uh, to the dimensions that that you know we wanted here. You can see it's got shelves on the side here between the columns. And uh, so that's that's pretty neat. Um, new projector will go up on top. Um, all the uh, equipment here, lots of storage, which is definitely a good thing. Gives it a ni much nicer look to it. Um, the slanted piece here, we have a USB um, a hub charging system that you plug into the wall that'll uh, be able to charge all the 3D glasses when we get those in. Um, these are the 3D glasses that we'll be using. Um, I ended up uh, picking a, the projector Panasonic uh, PTAE 8000U uh, mostly because um, it has lots of capabilities of what I'm looking for um, both in 3D and in 2D and um, the uh, Sony 3D glasses are compatible with um, this projector and instead of paying I don't know, 50-ish dollars uh, for a pair, um, I found a supplier that I can get brand new ones for seven. So seven dollars for a pair of active shutter view glasses is pretty legit. Um, the charging port is right here, um, and so what I'm planning on doing is making a, uh, a charging hub here, and we'll have the USB plugs up here, and each of the glasses will sit um, on this, and so when you come in, this whole um, system here will be full of, of glasses. I think I'll be uh, getting ten of them because you know seven dollars a piece here, so ten isn't isn't uh, too bad. And that way, when you have big movie parties, and you'll have plenty of glasses for everybody. And it uh, didn't break a bit the bank to be able to do that. So um, we have our our bar area with all my tools and stuff. We have the the fridge stocked and. Uh, snacks and things like that for watching movies. Pile of blankets on the back side of the couch here because some people like cuddling in a blanket. And there you have it. We have the uh, acoustic panels mounted. Hard to see here, but it uh, does give you a, kind of an idea. We have the uh, Fiber optic star ceiling here. It's kind of sort of twinkles. We have a replacement on order to replace that, but we'll kill the main lights here. So This is what it 
it looks like when we watch movies down here. I'm standing up so you can kind of see the star ceiling and stuff as it's uh, playing the movie. So, but anyway, um, that's the progress. So, we still have the bar and the door to do. But uh, ultimately, this is where we're at with the uh, with the room.